the time has come. There we are. Uh, now then, we now have all the Triforce pieces, we have all the items, at least except for the potion, which is an optional item we can buy, which I suppose we will, but there's also, there's a, uh, shop just outside of, uh, the final dungeon of the game at Spectacle Rock, so we'll be able to get there relatively soon. Also, I should mention that the ferry I've been going to up here, I've been going to Dungeon 3 to get here quickly, since Dungeon 3 was also very close by, but Dungeon 7 is also very close by, but again, you can't really get to Dungeon 7 without probably having beaten Dungeon 3, so... Either way works, but... Now, I wonder if I should buy the Magical Shield before I go. The only thing to consider is I definitely want to buy a potion before I go, and that I believe is 60-some rupees? And if the Magical Shield is 130, then I'm not going to be able to even be close to afford the Magical Shield. Oh, there's some money. That helps. Is it in here? Yeah, it's 130 rupees. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna hold off on it. I'm going this whole playthrough without the Magical Shield, just because I don't care. Now, in order to get to the final dungeon of the game, we're going to be heading... Uh, we could go all the way through the Lost Woods, and there is another way to get to that side of the map, which I'm going to be using now. Alright, so instead of, uh, instead of just going north there, we're going to use the ladder to come across this bit of, this bit of land, and I believe we're now on the other half of Hyrule, the one that is normally behind the Lost Woods. Oh, there's another shop here. Or is this a gambling place? There's another shop, and it has the exact same stuff the last shop had. Come into my sword! These guys are nervous. They're worried, like, this is the guy who defeated all eight dungeons. That or their AI just doesn't allow them to walk straight into a sword. That's also a possibility. Oh. Uh, is it not over here? I could have sworn it was. Okay, uh, this is where we're supposed to go, which I realize if I went one screen further than I did before, I would have been right next to the correct way to go, but it's okay. And I'm realizing very, very late into the playthrough that I completely forgot about the power bracelet, which is this item you just pick up in the overworld, I believe it's under one of those statue guys. And, uh, all it does is it makes it so you can push some rocks so that you can get some teleportation areas around the overworld, but it's completely useless once you get the flute item. And not to mention, the power bracelet doesn't do much else aside from those rocks, which it could have been utilized for some other stuff. But anyway, this area is the final area that we need to access. We use a bomb up here, and we simply blow up this spot right here to go into the dungeon. This area is called Spectacle Rock. We're very close to the top of the screen. In fact, we are on the top of the screen. And this shop right here is where we can get potions, and they know... That, uh, they intentionally put this place right outside of the du final dungeon of the game. We're going to be pick picking up the red potion, which essentially acts as just two potions. So it's definitely a bargain. Instead of buying two blue potions, if you buy just one red one, you essentially buy two blue ones. And here we are, level 9. This place is quite the maze. But, uh, luckily... Uh... We only have a few objectives. And so, by the way, there was supposed to be an old man here who was like, You can only progress if you have the Triforce. But because we have the Triforce already, which actually I can't view in the menu in the dungeon, but we have it, uh, he's out of the way and we can continue on as we would. But this place is a ginormous skull-shaped maze filled with secret passageways and transportations, and it is incredibly difficult to memorize where you need to go and uh, what is where, because there's, again, like the last dungeon in Dungeon 1, there's multiple items in this dungeon. There's the Red Ring, which is added defense, uh, even more so than the Blue Ring. And there's also the Silver Arrow, which is necessary to kill the final boss. So, that's all a big hassle we need to go through first. Plus, if you want to get the map and the compass, that's their own thing. This dungeon is just a big, big maze, and... 
Luckily, I know at least somewhat where we need to go. I, don't, I remember some certain shortcuts, like in that beginning area, if you didn't bomb through that uh, wall I went through, you'd pretty much just be going in a circle for quite a bit there. And this dungeon has a lot of whiz robes, which is not fun, because those guys are rude. It also features Patra. He's a mini-boss that they introduced at the end of the game. I don't know why this guy couldn't have just been the final boss of one of the dungeons that reused bosses, like Dungeon 7 or 8. But he just spins around his little fly dudes, you gotta kill them, and eventually you'll start expanding them, and that's when you want to kind of take a step back. Uh, but other than that, once you kill all his minions, all you gotta do is slice at him, and he's done. And what do we have here? Go to the next room. Thanks. Oh, I don't have the bomb equipped. I also realized I didn't bring the food, but the food is no longer necessary. Oh, gotta watch out, there's a lot of whiz robes here. Oh, a fairy! That's nice. Okay, and then this, push this block, and is this an item? I think it is. Nope, it's another teleportation. Man, this place is huge. Okay, at least there's only normal slime enemies here. These guys aren't an issue. And I just got hit by one. What was that? I feel so pathetic. All these locked doors mean nothing now that we have the lion key. We just need to walk through them. Oh, a clock! Yes, there we go. That was the best item we could have got. These things still shoot when the clock's up? Do they hurt us? No, they don't. Okay, that's weird. I remember that the clock kind of makes you invulnerable, like you can walk through the enemies and everything. That's weird that these guys still shoot the statues. Interesting. Okay, it doesn't seem like killing all of these guys is necessary, so let's just head out of there. Ooh, another... oh. Oh, and this is another guy who... I don't remember if we've encountered him yet. He's just a giant centipede guy. We've encountered the fire guy, which is similar to him. And it's another teleportation, not an item. I don't really know where I'm going at this point. I'm just hoping I get there soon. Uh... Okay, I was worried for a second that that was... Because there's a very similar room in design that leads straight to the final boss, Ganon. Now, Patra has two types. There's the one that kind of expands his flies as he's going around. There's this one who kind of spins them in a weird formation that kind of has a 3D visual to it. It's kind of interesting. I appreciate them uh, developing two different types of the same enemy. And actually, instead of going there, I believe we gotta go north here. Oh, excuse me. I think I'm on the way to the Silver Arrow. Either that, or there's rooms that look very so similar. Okay. Another dark room. Oh! They almost got me with those spikes. Oh, and I hear a boss. And I believe that that is Ganon himself, actually. So he is adjacent to this room somehow. This one right here on the map. This dungeon also has a unique dungeon theme, different than all the other ones, which is nice. There we are. That's one way of doing things, I suppose. Another mini-boss, huh? I have no idea where I am at this point. I can go through here, I suppose. Oh, and uh, we've got another hit dude. Eyes of Skull has a secret. What he's talking about is this dungeon is actually the shape of a skull. And so, I suppose he's talking about the empty eye holes. Kind of reminds me of that secret about the nose in the other dungeon. Um... This way will lead to a room where we've been near. But let's go down for now. We're kind of just experiencing as many rooms as we can. At least for the moment. 